Formula One, you say speed. And when you say speed, then you definitely say Autodromo di Monza. The 14th round of this Formula One season takes place in Italy. My name is Rudy van Buren, world's fastest gamer and professional race driver. In this video, I will tell you all you need to know about the upcoming Grand Prix weekend in Italy. Last year saw a crazy race with an even crazier podium. Neither Hamilton nor Verstappen made the podium, which saw Pierre Gasly claim victory ahead of Carlos Sainz and Lance Stroll. This is what you would call a high-speed circuit. The drivers go full throttle for about 75% of the lap. Last year, at the end of the start-finish straight, speeds of 360.8 km per hour were registered here. Besides the track, this GP is also known for the tens of thousands of Tifosi who try to push their home team Ferrari to victory. Get in and drive with me, and I'll tell you all the ins and outs of the Monza circuit. T1 coming up, fastest point of the track, brake late and hard. And we take the inside curb on the right, inside curb on the left. And on the exit, it's very important to put the gas straight, get maximum traction because a long flat out section is coming up. We have a flowy corner to the right, which I guess is flat out in pretty much all the cars nowadays. And then we come up to the second chicane. Again, late and hard brake, difficult with the bumps. We take the inside curb on both sides and we try to take as much momentum as we can in the exit here. Tricky thing here on the left is if you run over the curbs, now you can cut the inside wall of the tire. Lesmo 1, a lot of entry speed. Open the wheel and use all the curb on the exit. Lesmo 2, slightly earlier entry than your mind will tell you. Use all the curb on the exit and try to, how should I say it? Deal with the bump around the apex, difficult corner. And then the run up to the third chicane of the track. We go below the old circuit here and then late braking and then a very fast left right left on all three of your cages scrape the inside curb slightly take as much momentum as you can and then here the last straight towards the last corner this is the run up to parabolica and parabolica is extremely fast in the modern formula one cars so we break late and short turn in and from this moment we open up the wheel again full power search the white line on the left to minimize the scrub and that's it, a lap around Monza. Like most races held in Europe, qualifying in Italy starts at 2 o'clock British time on Saturday. The lights will then go green at 2 p.m. on Sunday and will know who can call themselves the winner of the Italian Grand Prix after 53 laps. You can follow the entire Grand Prix Weekend Live on Racing News 365 with a live blog, live timing and exclusive content from the circuit. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up is free and helps us a lot. Never want to miss out on the action again? Subscribe to the Racing News 365 YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications.